Hello everybody, Dominomio here, and welcome back to yet another episode of CrossCode, and I want to say that I'm like at like episode 11 or so, and we're just now entering the first dungeon. Okay, I mean, this game does take a little while to get started, and uh, exploration will be a bit faster, like maybe I'll... Maybe I'll just do longer episodes for exploration. I mean, that way I can talk more without getting interrupted by my outro and... Oh, whatever, whatever. That's something to experiment with later. Right now, we have a dungeon. Alright, let's begin the race. <laughs> this is going to be a very slow race for me because I'm going to be taking a break in the middle of this dungeon. Or stopping the session. Because the dungeons in this game, they're kind of long. They're kind of long. Uh, before I forget, uh, go to your inventory, go to add-ons, enable the mine detector, and yeah, favorite that quest. Because the mine detector will allow you to detect all the, not like mine detector as in it detects mines, but it detects things in the mine. It allows you to find the, the, the things for the side quest. The side quest reward, it seems useful, like neutral stone, what's that? And you certainly can go after the side quest like I am. It's not too big of a deal, you don't have to really go too far out of your way for it. Um, but... Uh, one thing to note is that the reward isn't as good as you might think it would be. And it also only comes in helpful really late in the game, like post-game. So, yeah, if you want, uh, you can get a cool thing during post-game. But, like, you also get some EXP out of it, so it's, it's still generally worth it. Um, so what you want to do here is you want to position the blocks so that you can jump over them. This game has a lot of puzzles and it's... These are basically Zelda dungeons. These are Zelda dungeons. Uh, they may not be as complex as some Zelda dungeons, but they are definitely Zelda dungeons through and through. Like here, you've got to do that to uh, activate all the walls. And then we get a key. Granted, these uh, dungeons aren't as complicated or as difficult as uh, some of the... Well, they're more complex than Zelda dungeons of old, like Link to the Past. Uh, but don't be expecting like any kind of like crazy, like, shenanigans, like, with, like, some of the puzzle gimmicks. They, they're they mostly just ball throwing and, like, block pushing, and they do a lot with those few concepts, with, and, like, the different elementals, which we'll get to later. Like, these puzzles can get really hard. It's just, don't expect, like, expert, kind of, like, uh, Okay, I think I figured out what I need to do. So I want to position this block up. And then... Uh, position this one down. Uh... Huh. Okay. So... I'm already kind of stuck. <sighs> I need to hit this one first, because there's no right arrow. And I can't hit this one. I This needs to be the last one I hit. This or... 
No, that doesn't need to be the last one I have to hit. I can move the blocks here to make sure I hit this one. And... Oh, I got it. I need to push this block here. And then, as far as the rest goes, I need to push this block here. Uh, I need to line it up a little bit better, though. And then... If I... Hit this here... Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do that. So, yeah, these are basically Zelda dungeons with less complex puzzles, but more fun combat. The combat in this game is really fun, and I don't know if you'll see it, you'll, you definitely won't see it in this episode, but in the next few episodes you will definitely see the potential of this combat. Okay, he's broken now, and then I can, yeah, I can just attack him. <laughs> Uh, oh, there is a thing here. And now we unlock the elevator. Uh, these guys are now active, so watch out there. I should use my single target attack more. The dash. Because that does good single target damage. So, in my first time through this game, I uh, went for a build that mostly went for, like, AoE. And while my build is still, like, largely AoE with, like, the melee attack, I didn't have the shield special, like this one. I just had, like, a push everything back, and that never came in useful in my playtime through the last game. I just didn't use the shield enough, because I was dodging everything. Because, like, honestly, you don't need to use the shield as much as the game lets you on to believe. But it's still a useful mechanic nonetheless. And you should use it, like, when you really want to reduce damage but aren't confident with your ability to dodge things. Or dodge a certain attack. Okay, so this... That's a bomb. You want to push the bomb by throwing balls at it. Or just by attacking it. <laughs> you really don't need to, like, throw balls at it. And... For this, you want to... You want to throw the ball like that, and then you can ricochet the bomb into these rocks. And that's how you solve that, this puzzle. Yeah. Bombs. So yeah, dungeons in this game aren't cool. This first one is not as interesting as some of the later ones, but honestly, it's kind of nice to have a simple dungeon in this game after playing through the later dungeons and, like, dying a ton to puzzles and everything else. So, neat thing about this, you can just... Well... Yeah, you can throw its bombs back at it. Uh... I kind of want to make a sandwich for this, because... Okay. Gotta dodge that. Gotta dodge that. And... Yeah, okay. He's broken now. Oh, that is a lot of damage from me. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to die. And that killed him. Yay. Huh. If you want, you can also lure the enemies here to destroy these rocks. Uh, you'll also get another way to destroy them a little bit later in this dungeon, but you also have to backtrack there if you don't want to, so, like, uh, yeah. Now, uh, no, no. 
fuck off platform. I want to go this way. We go this way now. Yay! A couple nights ago, I had a really weird dream. I know this is just a sudden topic, but what else am I talking about? So, I had a really weird dream last night, or a couple nights ago. Uh... Yeah, okay, you want to ricochet the ball like that. Uh, for some reason, my dream consisted of... Uh... Playing a sumo game with a lion standing on its hind legs. But it wasn't sumo as in, like, actual sumo. It was more like King of the Hill, where I was on top of a set of stairs, and this lion was trying to uh, take my position and go after what I was guarding, which happened to be a couple of people I knew. I don't know why I was the one to fight the lion, but I, I I was fighting a lion in a battle against King of the Hill. A lion standing on its hind legs. And... The first round, the lion tried to jump over me. Uh, like, from the fifth step, like, five steps below me. And I'm, like, six foot two. So this lion just jumped, like, ten feet over me. <laughs> Or, like, maybe, like, 15, and I somehow grabbed its leg and then slammed it against the staircase while it was trying to jump. Uh, I'm not that physically strong. I mean, yeah, I have tall reach, but there's no way I would be able to grab a lion's leg and then just slam it against a staircase. That's just too weird, but, like, it was really cathartic to be able to slam a lion against the staircase in my dream. So then the lion got knocked back down to the bottom of the stairs and then started round two. The lion tried to go for a more defensive approach in the second round and it tried to... Um... Oh, there's a thing there. And in the second round... It tried to just go up to me and, like, intimidate me and, like, claw at me. But while it was slowly coming up the stairs, I axe-kicked the lion on the head. <laughs> uh, hold on a moment. Uh, yes, so I axe-kicked the lion. Like, I lifted my leg straight up, which I can't do in real life. I can only lift my leg, like, 90 degrees at most. Um. Oh, right. Link to the past puzzles from, like, fucking Turtle Rock. But. Uh. I don't know. I axe kicked this lion on the head. And it gets knocked unconscious, because, I don't know, it just gets knocked unconscious. I don't know how I put so much force behind an axe kick on a lion, but I did, and that was really fun to do in a dream. I wonder if PETA is calling me right now. Huh. Maybe. Yeah, I have a tendency to have really weird dreams. Uh... Like, no joke. Okay, yeah, that was that puzzle. Uh... The last time I talked about my dreams on a recording was in Bug Fables, where I talked about the dream where, uh, where I talked about a dream where I was, like, dancing with a gorilla to a waltz. Uh, not all my dreams involve, like, primal animals that want to kill me, but, uh, for some reason, 
the ones I remember most recently do. Uh... Yeah. First dancing with the gorilla, and now... And now axe-kicking a lion on the head. Wow. That's... So neat. Okay, here you wanna ricochet the ball like that, and then you wanna platform into the arena by going like this. Okay, this guy is a little bit annoying, but he's not too bad. Uh. Oh. Yeah, so after he does his dash, he's vulnerable for breaking. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, he's now spewing ice, or whatever it is. Yeah, ice. Come on! Just dash at me already. Okay, break, 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 break. Oh, I barely got any damage on him. Okay, come on. Oh! Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can dash. Okay, okay, now's, now's the chance. I messed that up. Okay. This guy's being a little bit infuriating. Okay. When are you going to do your dash attack? Oh. It reminds me of that time uh, one of my friends brought his uh, Game Boy to school and he said, Hey, want to play Kirby's Dreamland? And I was like, Yeah, sure, whatever, it's intervention. Like, I have three hours to kill anyway. So I'm playing Kirby's Dreamland for, like, the second time ever. I never beat the game, but I know it exists. Like, I know you can't really do copy abilities and all that shit, it, like, from the new games. Or new, from, from like, since, like, Adventure onwards. <laughs> and... So, I'm playing Kirby's Dreamland. I get to King DDD. And you know, well, you probably don't know. Okay, whatever. Hey, Leia! How is it going? Uh, I, I just need a short breather. This dungeon is pretty long, no? Uh, by the way, did you see them too, right? Or, you, you know, them. The bugs. Gah! I ate those things! I mean, they're huge! But also quick and twitchy, and there are just so many of them. Uh, yeah, I really don't like bugs. Pardon. I guess I just felt like talking about it. Anyway, those things will not stop me. The race is still on. Uh. <laughs> okay. Emily is still being very competitive. So now we can access, uh, Basement 4-2 and Basement 4-3. Uh. You can tackle the rooms in any order. Uh, well, no, I guess not. <laughs> So I was playing uh, Cur like Kirby's Dreamland on the Game Boy, on my friend's Game Boy, which, I mean, yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know he had a Game Boy, but he brought it and he's like, hey, why don't you play Kirby's Dreamland if you're such a gamer? I'm like, bring it on. Uh, I beat that game in about 40 minutes, but like the most of my deaths came from like, fucking King DDD of all things. 
King DDD. King DDD is just an absolute bitch in that game, where he was for me. He, uh... To defeat King DDD, you need to, uh... Hit him with the stars that he drops. But he only drops a star with a certain attack. And that's, like, his hammer attack that he does. <sighs> Every time I got close to DDD and tried to make him do his hammer attack, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do his hammer attack for fucking life of me. He, he just wouldn't do it. I don't know why, but he just wouldn't. Which really frustrated me to, like, the point of no end. Like, I did eventually beat him. Don't get me wrong there. But it was a victory that I felt I... <sighs> Yeah, no. I just... King DDD hates me. And honestly, King DDD players in Smash Brothers, they're awful. I hate all the King DDD players in Smash. <laughs> if you main King DDD, uh, sorry for your loss. Well, okay, no, not quite that dramatic. Um, how do I... So, I think I want to... Do this. I want to, like, off-sync the block. Or desync the block. I need to reset the room. Oh, yeah, I just need to do this. So, I need this block over here. I need this block here. And I need this block here. So yeah, then one of my, uh, another one of my friends, he, uh, he's, uh, the one, like, one of two friends that I had where I was able to completely gush about Binding of Isaac and, like, check in on progress with him. Because he and I were both playing Binding of Isaac at the same time. I had the Switch version. He had the PC version. And we would check in on each other's progress and like... Basically we would just talk about the game a lot because both of us loved that game. And honestly, that game like deserves all the love that it has. It deserves its fan base because it's so good. It's so good. Binding of Isaac, favorite roguelike, still won't be beat out by any other roguelike. Yeah, other roguelikes may be good, but... None of them are going to be Binding of Isaac. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Come on. Okay. This guy's gonna dash. Okay, I want to get rid of this guy. Oh yeah, ice physics, by the way. The bombs will slide on ice physics. That's partially what this battle teaches you. Because you need to utilize that in the future. Okay. There's also a thingy here. Don't forget to grab that! Now we got the mine key to go further deeper. <laughs> also, keep in mind this floor here. You can't go to the left right now. Uh, that's about all for now. And then we can go down to B3. Speaking of Binding of Isaac, Repentance! I'm so excited for that. Uh, I'm waiting for the Switch version of Repentance, so I know that I am going to be waiting for, like, a good, like, six months or so before, like, I actually get the game for on Switch. Apparently it is confirmed that the game is coming to Switch. Apparently. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> I hope it's coming to Switch. If you're just going to fucking abandon a whole, like, 
like fan like a whole like console where like binding device like sold really well on Switch, then like ah oh, no, don't do that. Don't abandon the Switch users, especially because I'm a Switch user. But I'm excited for that DLC. Apparently it's basically like a whole new game. And I know what Anti-Birth is. I know that Anti-Birth is like the base for Repentance. Oh right, there's like three keys here that you need to use to open. But even so, like I I'm really excited. Like oh I've been listening to the OST that uh that's been being uploaded. Uh, by, uh, the creator. Or, like, the, uh, yeah, the, by the creator. And the OST for Repentance. Really good. Really good. I've been disappointed in, like, Anti-Birth for having, like, kind of, like, bland music compared to, uh, the original in Wrath of the Lamb. But now, like, <laughs> Repentance has really good music. Walls of Denial, uh, that's a pretty good, like, uh, that's a pretty good song. And it's in, like, the new mausoleum area. I know Machine in the Walls is really good. And I kind of prefer Machine in the Walls from Anti-Birth, but, uh, I don't know. Like, Machine in the Walls is really good for a whimsical feel. But I feel like Repentance nails the atmosphere a bit more with, like, Isaac running away from his mother. And trying to find, like, sanctity in the mausoleum, but it's just as hostile as any other place. So... But, like, the original Machine in the Walls from Anti-Birth, it is very whimsical and, like very mysterious and like very like it gives off a really like mystical vibe to it also i need to use the fire orb to ice the to uh fire fly flame those ice uh icicles those standing icicles Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. How did that not blow up in your face? Come on, just die. Okay, good. Uh, okay, now you want to ricochet your shots like this. I think you want to do this last one. Like that. Uh, no, you just want to bounce it. You just really want to bounce it, like, very straight. Almost very straight. Okay, and now you can platform across. Uh... There's another platform here. So, you can't jump there, but you can ricochet the fireballs to, uh... Go whatever direction, as long as you're, like... <sighs> Ricocheting balls on ice physics is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie, though. Can I just, like... No, I can't. Oh, no. Let me jump. Just give me one more, like, two more blocks to ice, or, like, flame. Okay, good. Now I can get through.
Uh... Do I want to do this now? Yeah, I'll do this now. I don't think it's... Yeah, it wasn't what I was thinking of anyway. So with these guys, you want to attack them through the fire. With the fire orb, because they're weak to fire. They're ice bugs. And you want to keep doing this. Don't worry, uh, you're not going to die as long as you, like, actually flame these bugs and dodge at the right moment, unlike what I'm doing. Okay. You can also go in for melee if you want, but fire is just straight up better. Uh, you just want to make sure that you don't get hit by their attacks. Oop, that guy almost got me. Yep. Key. Nice. There's also a secret over here. So use the fire orb here to get that chest. Uh, vanilla ice cream. That is heat resist. So, I think I'm done here for this episode. I uh, thank you so much for uh, keeping up with this series. Uh, or I don't know. If you're watching Baba as you, that's also cool. Although, if you're only watching Baba, you wouldn't hear this message. But uh, thank you anyway for uh, watching this episode. And next time, we will continue through the dungeon. I don't think we'll finish it, but this dungeon is probably going to be like a three-episode deal. But next time, we'll continue on with the dungeon and uh, get through the halfway point. So, see you guys then. Bye.